Hey, what's up guys? Professional landscape photographer David Johnson here and I wanted to show you how to make dreamy landscape photos using Luminar 4. So let's jump into the tools that we have for us. I'm in the creative tab right now and the first thing I'm going to go to is the dramatic effect here and the dramatic effect is just going to add more oomph and I want to say for the first part of this you need to match the dreamy look with a dreamy shot. So here we have fog in the background, it's really moody, it's early morning, there's mist everywhere. You have to match the effect with the photo mood that you have. So I'm gonna go to dramatic, I'm gonna increase this a little bit, just slightly, so that it just adds a little bit more contrast to the image, it adds a little bit more drama to the image, and now I can go down to other effects, like the mystical effect is gonna bring out some more of that mood, some more of that dreaminess. So I can increase this just a little bit and it's gonna bring out more of this fog back here in the background. I maybe want a little bit more of that, so I'm gonna increase that about the double amount that I already had it. Next thing I'm gonna go down to is the glow effect. Now we have different examples of glow here where you have this drop down arrow and I'm gonna keep it on soft focus because I want just that foggy effect to come out in this and be a little bit more dreamy. I'll increase that a little bit in this image. So since we have a lot of fog in this image, I'm going to click on the fog tool down here. And again, we have a drop down menu of light fog and dark fog. I'm going to keep this pretty light since we did have some light fog in the background behind these trees. And I'm just going to increase that slightly for this photograph. And it's just going to add a little bit of that fog effect to this image, make it more dreamy, make that fog really pop out in the background, but also add a little bit of sheen of fog to the entire photograph. And then the next thing I want to do is come over here to even the portrait sections. You know, landscape photographers can still use the portrait tools for our outdoor images because there are some tools in here that are really beneficial to a dreamy look to match the mood of what we shot in the landscape. So I can come down here to the Orton effect. And again, there are different options for us. I'm gonna keep this on type one for the Orton effect. You can click back and forth between these two to make sure you get the look that you are going for. So I'm just gonna barely increase this just slightly. And the Orton effect is pretty powerful. It adds just like kind of a haziness, kind of a glow to the light in your images. Uh, it, it adds a soft focus feature to your overall image. But that's basically all you have to do to create a dreamy landscape like the one that we have right here. So what I can show you now is the before and after. So I can click the before and after and you can see before, you know, it was kind of flat, dull, dark and you couldn't really get a sense of a lot of that dreaminess, that fog that's coming out in the background. But after the tools of like the fog tool, the mystical tool, the dramatic tool, and even the Orton effect, it helped us bring out a lot of that dreaminess. So here's the after, and you can see it's a much better image. We have a lot more dreamy aspect to it, and it just overall looks better, and we were able to match the mood that we photographed in the field with the post-processing tools that we have in Luminar 4 to take our photos to the next level.